Updating your ECC and Footprints firmware is quite simple. Once you've received the file in an email, you'll receive two files, an ECC file and a Footprints file. What you'll want to do is copy them over to your desktop. So what you'll do is simply grab them and drag them over to your desktop. And from there, you'll be uploading them into your TED system. In order to update the firmware in your TED system, we first need to open up TED Footprints. And we do so by opening up a browser. You see here we've opened up, uh, this is Chrome. And in the address bar, you'll want to type in HTTP colon slash slash TED 6000 and hit enter and it will load TED footprints. In the event that typing in HTTP colon slash slash TED 6000 does not open TED footprints there will be instructions on locating your TED system at the end of this video. To begin the firmware update process you want to have footprints open and you'll go to the advanced tab and click on update firmware and the first file you want to upload is your ECC file so we just copied them over to our desktop so we'll choose a file and we'll go to our desktop and there are the two files that we just copied over and we want to choose the ECC file first and we will double click it and that loads it here and you upload the firmware and this generally takes a minute or two. You'll see the progress bar moving along and once it completes the system will automatically reset. Tells you that it's been completed and you can click the OK button and the close button and wait for the system to reboot. And once the system comes back up, you'll want to repeat that process. Go to the Advanced tab, to the Update Firmware, and the file you want to choose this time is your Footprints file. And double click it, and it loads there. And click the Upload Firmware button. And the Footprints file is a much larger file, so it takes a bit longer to load. So once this has loaded it does exactly the same thing that the ECC firmware did it will uh, the progress bar will advance to the end uh, you'll receive a notice that it's uh, finished click OK and close it out and give it a few minutes and it will reboot your entire system and that's it In the event that the system was unable to find your TED device by typing in TED 6000 in the address bar, what we want to do is go to the TED website, which is www.theenergydetective.com, and you'll want to go to the Support tab, to the TED Pro Series, and down to Documents and Downloads and scroll down to the installation utility. You'll click that and you want to select the operating system that you have on your computer. Uh, we'll choose Windows and it will download a file. And once it downloads the file you will click it and then you'll want to run the program And you, you can see that it is now searching your network for a TED device. So once it finds it, you'll want to click on the link and launch in the browser. And this will bring up TED Footprints in your browser. And from this point, 
you will go back if you want to review the beginning of this video to see the instructions on updating your firmware this is where it's done